Hi, I'm Russell Ver, and I just wanted to give a huge thanks to Epic Charging for sponsoring getting one of these vehicle to load devices to Ukraine. I was contacted uh, last year by Sergey, who reached out and wanted to see if he could use his EV for emergency backup power and tried to help. So through a lot of effort, we got uh, one of these devices shipped from China to Poland to Ukraine and uh, and it's working. We're able to help him get some backup power when, when the grid goes down because of the, the war in Ukraine. We've found um, this has been able to help during those outages. Hi Russell. Today uh, I would like to thank you that you sent this device for me. Uh, as you see uh, on the background I'm using it actively. Today we have continuous blackout for the entire day and uh, this CTEC device which you sent is greatly helps us. So I'm powering my home uh, using the Nissan Leaf. So what this equipment is, is this vehicle to load is an ability to use your electric vehicle as a power source. So think of this as just like a generator where you can power appliances. What it does is, is it connects to the DC port of a electric vehicle. There's a lot of energy stored inside an electric vehicle battery, but it's DC. Our appliances like our fridge and Wi-Fi routers run on AC. So this device just has an inverter. It converts the electricity from DC to AC. And this is how it can help provide emergency backup power similar to a generator. I'm able to use the entire house without any limitations. I can use the water pump. I can use the microwave oven. I can use like every device in my home and I don't need to think what I need to turn on first. I don't need, I don't need to think about the order of things to be turned on. And like uh, my family even not recognize that we are connected from, we are, we are pulling the power from Nissan. This is amazing. I live in the section where we have only uh, like houses, there are no apartments. And I can hear the noise from like almost all the houses. They use uh, generators. Uh, the gasoline generators, which are very loud and expensive to use. And uh, this is great. I'm really excited. I didn't expect that this device can handle uh, such a huge load. Actually, I didn't measure yet, but uh, it's, uh, it's a lot because uh, by mistake, my wife turned on the dishwasher and at the same time, there was a water pump enabled. And also we have a natural gas heater to heat the water and uh, all the supplies like uh, laptops, uh, TV, uh, fridge, uh, I don't know, like common things in which are present in each house. So Russell, uh, thank you again. I really appreciate uh, your support of Ukrainian guys. So we, we hope that this uh, can help others in Ukraine that are experiencing blackouts and maybe just be another solution, but one that's cleaner and quieter and cheaper to operate. Where we are today, um, we got, you know, one of these devices shipped. They're pretty expensive. These are, this is, you know, two to $3,000 to get one of these should be before shipping and before customs. So they are expensive, but they're, you know, between 3000 to 6,000 Watts that can provide actually a lot of power. A, a typical home, 6,000 Watts could provide about half the power a, a typical home would need. And the, you know, how long it can provide backup power depends on how big the battery is, how much power you're using, but anywhere from a few hours to a few days. And, and so I think that this can be a really good solution uh, for those um, who really need that emergency power. And we hope that we can help more, more folks get that, that, um, get that help. One other thing to remember about a uh, vehicle to load is that this is not necessarily new technology. This is the Nissan started enabling this in 2011 after the 2011 tsunami. 
So this is not new, but maybe not well known. Um, you know, it's uh, a lot of people have been working on this technology for the last 10 years. I, I actually got my start working on this in 2012 with a vehicle to grid project with the Department of Defense and have since continued, did a, you know, powered a concert in 2015, which was a lot of fun. Found the SeaTech power devices in 2000 and 17 and um, that's that's how I kind of got connected to Sergey and uh, others who were really interested in this so it's definitely an exciting piece of the industry and this is just you know more simple application where it's not connected to the grid it's uh, you know just kind of simple operation like like a generator really excited to see if we can use this to help others so thanks again Epic Charging for all your help and uh, thanks to anyone in advance who, who reaches out to help